The opening of Virginia football's 2005 season marked another chapter in the Cavaliers' ongoing and relentless pursuit of excellence. Champions are not built in one fall, but rather over the course of months and years. Head coach Al Groh's fifth UVA squad evolved through thousands of hours of dedicated training. And when the leaders of this team move on, their work will be inextricably linked to that of future classes, of men who will pursue championship football and enjoy the bonds of brotherhood as Virginia football cavaliers. The 2005 squad took the field for the first time before a sellout Scott Stadium crowd against Western Michigan on September 3rd. Marcus Hagens and the UVA offense wasted little time scoring the first points of the new season. The play fake and Hagens to throw. Hagens looking deep, has got a man. Anderson makes the catch, 20, 15, 10 to the five yard line. Hagens rolls right, Hagens wants to throw, Hagens going to try to turn the corner, wide open, touchdown! Later in the opening quarter, freshman linebacker Clint Sinem hit his target and forced a Broncos fumble. Hagens, play fake, looks to throw, looks deep, near side, Deion Williams, the catch, out of bounds at the two! Santee will be in motion right. They're going to roll that side again. Hagens, Biscuit will tuck. Touchdown, Marcus Hagens, right side. Jason Snelling's 33-yard gallop set up a field goal by Connor Hughes to take Virginia to a 17-3 lead. The margin would grow early in the second quarter as Michael Johnson accounted for 43 of the Cavaliers' 52 yards on a scoring march that was completed in just one minute, 52 seconds. Hands off Johnson. Johnson wants the extra blocker. Five-yard line, goal line, touchdown. Later in the game, freshman tailback Cedric Pierman followed a similar formula as he rumbled through the Broncos' defense for 47 of UVA's 69 yards on a drive that sealed Virginia's 31-19 victory. The play of the special teams on opening day was impressive and would remain one of the Cavaliers' strengths throughout the course of the season. The punt coverage unit downed Chris Gold's first attempt on the one-yard line, one of many kicks that pinned opponents deep in negative territory. Senior place kicker Connor Hughes led the ACC in field goal percentage as he connected on 19 of 22 attempts. In the process, the Williamsburg native became UVA's all-time leading scorer. Meanwhile, kickoff specialist Kurt Smith often left return men shaking their heads in frustration as his cannon-like boots sailed out of the end zone. This kick, again, nailed out of the end zone. Touchback. Virginia returned to action on September 17th against Big East Conference foe Syracuse. After the Orange scored on their opening drive, UVA's offense silenced the rowdy Carrier Dome crowd. The highlight of the march was this magical 38-yard run by Marcus Hagan. Hagan now will slip out and run 40, 45, midfield 50, 45, 40, far side 35, 30, still on his feet to the 20-yard line. Five plays later, Cedric Pierman fought his way into the end zone to tie the game at seven. Virginia's defense then took control of the contest for the remainder of the half. Syracuse gained just 34 yards on the ground, and linebacker Kai Parham recorded three sacks in the game's first 30 minutes. Five-step drop under pressure. Kai Parham has got him. Virginia's offense remained resilient as the Cavaliers took the lead into the locker room despite three first-half interceptions. The go-ahead score came after Hagen's hit Tom Santee for a 24-yard gain. Beerman scored his second touchdown of the day to account for the 14-7 margin at the break. Syracuse pulled within three in the third quarter before tailback Michael Johnson quickly silenced the dome. The handoff, Michael Johnson, and Johnson slips around to the outside, 35-40, goodbye, 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 25, touchdown, Michael Johnson! The game took on the atmosphere of a championship bout as both teams traded blows. Trailing 24-21, to 21, 
Syracuse faced a critical third and five at the Virginia eight yard line. Senior linebacker Mark Miller stopped the orange attempt and forced the tying field goal. What then transpired can only be described as one of the great drives of the college football season. After Pierman returned the kickoff to the Virginia 41 yard line, the Cavalier offense held the ball for the remaining six minutes, 25 seconds of the game. Hagen's 26 yard scramble on third down put UVA deep in orange territory. Then head coach Al Groh entrusted his offense to put the game out of reach on fourth down. They go left side, Jason Snelling to the five, to the four, and a first down. Snap back, ball down, the kick is up. It is good, Cavs win in Syracuse. Kai Parham's effort in the win over Syracuse was a microcosm of the junior's superb play throughout the season. The All-ACC linebacker recorded nine sacks as the Hammers' size and speed overwhelmed the opposing linemen. The Virginia Beach native also made a team high 89 tackles on the year, including 13 stops for loss. Parham was in the heart of the action when Virginia returned to Scott Stadium on September 24th to face ACC rival Duke. In the first quarter, number 44 forced a Blue Devil fumble to set up the Cavaliers' first points of the afternoon. A 32-yard Connor Hughes field goal. In the second quarter, Michael Johnson gained 45 yards on eight consecutive carries before Hagens went back to the air. Higgins to throw, three-step drop, looks in the corner, man, Dale, a touchdown! Virginia's aerial attack continued in the third quarter as three consecutive TD passes turned the game into a rout. Three-step drop over the middle, throws, complete on that side, and it'll be the tight end, he goes to the goal line, did he get in? Yes! Two wide right, play fake to Johnson. Higgins to throw over the middle, wide open, Dayon Williams, touchdown, Virginia! The play of UVA's secondary was a key component in the Cavaliers' 38-7 win over the Devils. The unit recorded three interceptions, including two by all ACC cornerback Marcus Hamilton. The back four contributed consistent play to the Orange Crush defense throughout the season. Hamilton recorded a team-high five picks, while Nate Lyles roamed the secondary with fearless intensity. Oh, Nate Lyles! Fellow safety Tony Franklin finished fourth on the team in tackles and recorded two interceptions. Chris Cook worked his way into the starting lineup before a broken leg prematurely ended his season at Boston College. Meanwhile, Chris Gorham, Mike Brown and Jamal Jackson all logged more than 275 plays. On October 15th, an electric Scott Stadium crowd welcomed fourth-ranked Florida State to Charlottesville. Before an ESPN national television audience, quarterback Marcus Hagens proved he is a prime-time player. Hagen's a seven-step drop and wants to throw. Flushed out of the pocket, near side again, throws down the sideline. He got a man complete, 31-yard line. Hagen's the play fake, the blitz is on. Hagen's rushed out of the pocket, now looks to throw. Long, it's going to be caught by Byers, 35-30, 25. A deep drop, Hagen's. Hagen's rolls the pocket, Hagen's now may try to run and get out of it. Hagen's throws and looks, he's got a man complete. Deep drop by Hagen's. Hagen's wants to throw, looking deep, day on the catch. Higgins finished the game with 306 yards passing and completed 75% of his throws. Afterwards, head coach Al Groh ranked Biscuit's performance as one of the finest he's seen by a quarterback. The senior's second touchdown pass of the game staked Virginia to a 23-10 lead. Remember way back in the beginning of camp, I told you something about you don't win battles by digging in. Remember? You win battles by attacking. 
If all you do is dig in, you become a target. I told the coaches, we're not digging in, we're attacking. Okay? But you're the principal attackers. Okay? It's not the play calls. Okay? We're going to make some calls to try to put you in a position to attack. We're going to make some calls to give you an opportunity to make plays. But the attacking nature of this half has got to come from the players, not from the coaches. Okay? Protect the football. Keep all receivers in front of you. Okay? We're looking for some strip sacks in the pockets. Okay? And play better than what you played in that half. And you'll win. Okay? Keep making plays. Stay on the attack, fellas. That's how we're going to win. Yeah. UVA stretched its lead to 16 when Connor Hughes made his fourth field goal of the game. A 45-yard boot on the first drive of the second half. The Cavaliers' game plan to attack the Seminoles extended to the defense as well. UVA's ferocious rush produced five tackles for loss and harassed FSU quarterback Drew Weatherford throughout the game. Plenty outside by Keenan Carter. Virginia's memorable victory was sealed when junior Tony Franklin stepped in front of Weatherford's final throw late in the fourth quarter. on a Thursday morning in January <laughs> at 6 o'clock. <laughs> You've developed a toughness, a responsibility to each other, a depending upon each other during the course of that program. Okay? I never doubt okay, that that is part of what you relied upon tonight to do that. Okay? You did a fantastic job. You can be proud of what you did. Hagan's jaw-dropping plays throughout the season earned the respect of his teammates and opponents across the ACC. The 5'10 Dynamo was a model of competitive toughness and determination. The Hampton native could be counted on to successfully convert critical third down plays, to complete key passes, and to lead the team through its most difficult challenges. Virginia chose to put the offensive game plan in the hands of its line and running backs when Temple visited Charlottesville on November 5th. The Cavaliers' ground attack imposed its will early in this contest as Wally Lundy finished an efficient 13-play drive. Lundy five walks in, touchdown! Later in the first quarter, Jason Snelling plowed over all defenders and followed a caravan of blockers to find the end zone from 32 yards out. Jason Snelling just following the wall. Lundy added an eight-yard touchdown run to help extend UVA's halftime lead to 27 to nothing. Temple gained just 62 yards on its first 31 plays as Virginia's Orange Crush defense spent much of the first half in the Owls' backfield. And this time it's Chris Long. Blitz coming, and right in the backfield, and a terrific play. Cavaliers showing a blitz, and it's a run blitz, and boy, they just stopped the ball carrier, Coleman, at the four-yard line. Temple left to right here, trailing by 17. Play fake, DeSanzo is going to be sacked, come on, Brooks. Brennan Schmidt continued UVA's defensive dominance in the second half. During Temple's first possession, the senior captain recorded a sack and then capitalized on a rare opportunity. DeSanto out of the shotgun to throw. Third down, that ball batted up in the air, and it's going to be caught and intercepted. Brennan Schmidt, it fell right in his lap. The ball high in the air, and Brennan Schmidt cradles it like a baby. After a Lundy TD run, Schmidt went back to work. DeSanto hands off, Coleman tries to cut the ball. He has lost the ball, Cavs go after it like sharks. Lundy and Snelling scored the Cavaliers' fifth and sixth rushing touchdowns of the day in Virginia's 51-3 victory. Touchdown, Cavs! The intensity displayed by Brennan Schmidt during the Temple game was commonplace for the McLean, Virginia native over the course of his remarkable career. It's gonna be tackled back the seven-yard line! Brennan Schmidt made a terrific play in the backfield. Known as UVA's Iron Man, number 96 was a stalwart on defense and started a school record 51 games in four seasons. 
Smith finished the year third on the team in tackles and was widely respected for his work ethic and intensity. Next year, it is expected that sophomore Chris Long will assume the leadership void on the defensive line left by Brennan's departure. Long was a consistent performer at end as he finished with nine tackles for loss and a team high 26 quarterback hurries. Virginia returned to ACC action on November 12th against longtime rival Georgia Tech. The Cavaliers emphasized the importance of effective line play against the Yellow Jackets. UVA seniors DeBrickashaw Ferguson, Brian Barthelmus, and Brad Butler led a dominating effort on Virginia's first two offensive series. Hagans now hands off Lundy short side. He's got the block 10 to the 5. Lundy, touchdown! Hagans will hand off Lundy. Lundy sweeping near side, looking for a block. Cuts at 15, 10-5. Lundy, touchdown, did it again. With that score, Wally Lundy became UVA's all-time career TV leader. The Willingboro, New Jersey native finished his career as the ACC's record holder for most career touchdowns. After sophomore safety Nate Lyles was injured making a tackle on Georgia Tech's ensuing series, cornerback Marcus Hamilton responded with another interception. Reggie Ball throws far side, Calvin Johnson, it's going to be intercepted! The Cavaliers were once again able to move the ball against the Jackets' defense, and Virginia's third series produced points to stake UVA to a 17-0 second quarter lead. Snap back, ball down, the kick up by Connor. It looks long enough. It looks good enough. Field goal good by Connor Hughes. Georgia Tech responded to tie the game in the third quarter, but the Cavaliers line once again gave the backs room to roam. 45 40, we've got room. 35 30, and out of bounds, Jason Snelling in the 25 yard line. Virginia took the lead for good thanks to another impressive kick by Connor Hughes. Four of five from over 40. Step back, ball down. The kick is up. It is long enough, and it is perfect. Snelling continued to display his powerful running style on UVA's next possession. Four consecutive runs by the Richmond native gained 37 yards and set the stage for Hagens to strike the decisive blow. Hagens, the deep drop. Hagens looking in zone. Hagens throws to Dayon Williams. Five, touchdown! Dayon Williams runs the post. He gets inside. Touchdown, Cavs! That was one big play, and the whole offense gets some credit on that one. The orange and blue held the ball for the final six minutes, 31 seconds of the game. Thanks to some nifty plays by Hagens and a gutsy call. Far side hash mark. Snap back. No, it's a fake. And Phelps is going to run 20 to the 15 to the 14 yard line. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm really happy for you. Okay, what you accomplished tonight. Okay, you just showed. Okay, one heart, one mind, a single pulse. All of you in harmony for what you're doing. Okay, that harmony is so hard to get. Okay, 100% harmony. You can lose it a little bit. Okay? If you just have one bad chord in there someplace, the music doesn't sound as good. Okay? That's as good a win as you've ever had. Okay? The other thing it just proves okay, is that, as I said, the really good teams can play through whatever they have to face, good, bad, or indifferent, to be ready for the next play. Dayon Williams developed into one of the ACC's best receivers during the 2005 season. The speedster caught 52 passes, second most in the conference, while consistently drawing the opponent's best defender. What time is it? Virginia faced its third top 10 team of the season when the Cavaliers traveled to Miami on November 26. UVA was prepared to meet the Hurricanes head on. 
Trailing three to nothing in the first quarter, the coaching staff reached into their bag of tricks. From the 10 yard line on a second down call, play fake Lundy on the reverse, Emmanuel Byers looking for somebody to throw to, puts it up wide open, Deion Williams, the catch, 45, 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, razzle dazzle, touchdown Cavs. Virginia built a 10 to three lead in the second quarter after a 14 play, 55 yard march down the field produced Connor Hughes 19th field goal of the season. Snap back, ball down, a kick is up, and Connor Hughes nailed it. Miami sees the lead late in the half, but the Cavaliers remain within striking distance throughout this hard-hitting contest. However, three UVA drives into Hurricanes territory in the second half yielded just seven points, and Miami ultimately prevailed 25-17. to We played well. We didn't play well enough to win, uh, but we certainly played well. And had we not made a few errors along the way, um, it would have been good enough. This is two years in a row that the game's gone down into the final minutes against these guys. So hopefully let our guys see what's out there in front of them and what they can become. Virginia closed the 2005 season in Nashville's Music City Bowl. This is an emotional game for us here today. This is an opportunity for us to prove something. Okay? We're going to have to prove it on every play. It's going to be that kind of game. Your resiliency, your intensity, the juice you bring, the toughness, the heart that you have, the will to win will be tested on every play. Remember what we started back in January, okay? that nothing can stop the power of team. Lundy the lone running back. Play fake and Hagen's the throw. Hagen's looking near side. Wide open Byers, the catch 28. Six of Minnesota, play fake. Hagen's lobs, end zone, day on, touchdown. Touchdown, Virginia. They go to Russell. Russell the running back, and he is going to be hit behind the line. Under pressure, throws, corner plants him. He got whacked from behind. Higgins over the middle, man, wide open to catch 20 to the 14, and Tom Sandy wide open. Snap back, ball down, the kick is up, and it is good. From the seven yard line, Higgins on the delay to Lundy. Lundy looks for it, touchdown, goal line, Wally Lundy. Yearman alone running back for Higgins. Five step drop and stays in a pocket, looks over the middle, man, wide open, Sandy 40, 35, 30, 25 to the middle of the field. Under center, Hagen. Nope, yep, no, play fake. Looks, end zone, touchdown, Fontel Mine. The play fake was perfect. Lone running back for Kubido. The handoff, and they're going to run. Chris Long and Vince Red. Hagen's looking to throw. Down the middle, there is a tight end again. Sandy, midfield, 50 40, a great cut, 35 30, 20, 15 yard line. Higgins hands off, Lundy, Lundy, goal line, touchdown. Higgins all day to throw. Now flushed out of the pocket, Higgins is gonna be rushed and he runs. Higgins throws, man wide open, 30, the catch, Byers to the 25 yard line. Inside the 30 yard line for Connor Hughes. Snap back, ball down, the kick is up. It is long enough, it is perfect. 34-31 and 45 ticks left, Kubido to throw. Kubido stepping up in the pocket, throws, puts it downfield, and it's gonna be... Is it intercepted? Is it intercepted? Yes, yes. I think so! Marcus Hamilton! Yes. Marcus Hamilton makes the catch in the end zone! Marcus Hamilton seals it! Al Groh and the Virginia Cavaliers come into Nashville and beat Minnesota. Although the 2005 Virginia football team did not meet all of its desired objectives, the squad continued to build the foundation for future success. Many of the seniors will join their former teammates in the NFL, and the recruiting class of 2006 will soon take their place to help continue the program's pursuit of championship football.